Good afternoon, um, YouTube. I today I'm recording to show you how to brush your own body kit. Not well, it's not really brushing it, but designing it from the resort from the sources you have. So here we have an Opel Astra, somewhere around 2003, 2005, and um, I'm just gonna simply widen up these arches, these body side bones. And I'm gonna say I'll just get into it and tell you as I go along what I'm doing. Okay, so what you gotta do first is select this area, the end, the actual end, you, which you can see when you're standing side by side of it. Um, select that in a perfect, perfect way. Um, just like this. Like it really has to be perfect, if not the white body effect would come around really unrealistic and not very good at all. So just go around that very carefully. Take your time, notice I'm doing, I'm rushing through it now to not pass over the limit of the minutes on YouTube. So you gotta spend more time on this than I just, I'm just doing right here. Okay, so you copy and paste it. You pull it a little bit. I guess that this is, well, it's not, it depends on how big you actually want it, how extreme you actually want it. This is okay, and I'm gonna do somewhere around here. Yes. So what you do next is what I recommend to do is clean all of the body part lines so what you do is just take one area cut it out copy paste it pull it along here try to make it fit like this and rub out the things that stand over and try to blend this in just like I'm doing right here um, but the actual better way to do it is like that because on this card it's really hard to do so I'm just going to use this method you just clean everything and try to get rid of the lines like this, more or less. Just try to neaten it up yourself. And okay. So now what you do is go to your background, select one point, go to the layer that you copied, and on the same, you have to be aware of that it has to be the same point, like two or three centimeters in front to be coloring it, but on the same line, so that it always copies exactly what's in front of it. So then you just do what I'm doing right here. And if your line if your point wasn't perfect, you just change it. That's no problem. And you just keep brushing and brushing until it's just until you you filled everything until the end. Just like I'm doing right here. It can take a lot of time if you're actually Spending a lot of time on it, not like me rushing it right here. So, what you then do is once it has reached its end and you're actually copying the rim or something, you just take it and, and duplicate it from layer, from the layer you made. So, just like this. And, it's already starting to look quite good so you just continue doing this sorry there you just continue doing this until you've actually filled all of the, the whole area um, it should be taking you around about I don't know, around about 20 minutes if you're actually spending a lot of time on this, but 20 minutes 
yeah, kind of, it's yeah, more or less 20 minutes. That's a suitable time for this to actually get some good results. Um, so we just keep brushing, and now, as you noticed here, you can see you can actually see the old um, old body kit. So what we do is select the area that has to be painted black which is supposed to be the new area behind the wheel create a new layer for this just make that black and now our our little problem is that it's not really a problem it's just something we have to fix is right here because um, it actually the bonnet actually ended over here here so um, now we have to create the end of it as it was not included in the picture so we have to brush that ourselves and um, we just I'm just doing it rough here you have to um, do it in a more neat way just like everything um, I'm doing everything quick and rough over here, so it's, the results aren't going to be stunning. They're just going to be okay. Here, it, it, this is just like a background. So, um, what we do now is select the area that you've just painted, and inside here, we make it black, and select the area that you made black before. Already, paint it black. And it should already be looking quite okay if you actually did it right. And yes, it does. Now you have to make this front look more realistic because it really doesn't. Um, so where you go is on the layer you put on top. You just keep rubbing out until you've reached this end, and it will look quite realistic. Have to be. You have to spend more time on this. And I recommend to finish everything off. You, it does. If you don't know how to do it, take quite a lot of time. But if you do, it's just it's very simple. So what you do is create one of these new overflows. One with this color. Well, the color if if the color change goes from a lighter tone to a darker tone immediately, you have to do this. If not, you don't. And you pull the strip of the. No, that's wrong. A strip of that over here, and it blends the two colors over, as you, as you might have noticed. But it looks unrealistic. So what you have to do is just rub out the ends of it to blend that over, just like we're kind of doing everything. That's it. And then just take away a little light, and it will be looking realistic already, like it does right here. But I've noticed that here it's still an old tone between two um, light tones, it's a dark tone. So just take that and get rid of it. So like this, I'll just have a quick look. It already should be looking, yeah, it looks perfect. And if you actually look at the whole thing with just, oh no, there's a mistake here. Massive mistake, you can see from distance already, which annoys me a lot. Create a new layer, of course, and so that's it for today. Um, I hope that you guys check out my next video tutorial, tutorial number six, which will be out very soon. So subscribe and.